So next we're going to talk about what it means for vectors to be parallel. Um, now, Apex Calculus uses what I would say is an unusual definition of, of parallel vectors. So what Apex says is that uh, if I have two unit vectors, I say u1 and u2, um, so Apex says, well, unit vectors are parallel. if u1 is either equal to u2 or its opposite, so plus or minus u2. Okay. Right. So they point in either the same or the opposite direction. Okay. Um, and then vectors, let's say v and w, are parallel. So if I have two vectors which are not necessarily unit vectors, um, then they will be parallel if they have parallel uh, unit vectors. Okay. Now I guess sort of buried in this definition is that um, if, if these vectors are going to have parallel unit vectors, then they, they can't be zero because zero vector doesn't have a unit vector. Um, OK, so that, that's one way to do it. But I'll mention one other definition that you are likely to encounter, especially if you're um, also seeing this material in the context of linear algebra. So the other way we say it is, um, oops. To be a V. Uh, vectors, say V and W, are parallel if, well, um, V is a scalar multiple of W, or it could be the other way around. So I don't know, let's call them C1 and say C2. Okay. So either V is a scalar multiple of W or W is a scalar multiple of V for scalar C1 or C2. Okay. Um, that's a more typical definition of what it means to be parallel. Now, that may be places less emphasis on the direction if you want to think of unit vectors as really focusing on direction. Um, but it does kind of remind us of this sort of important nature of scalar multiplication, that scalar multiplication preserves direction or reverses if the scalar is negative, right? Um, and now, of course, as long as that scalar is, is non-zero, then C2 would just be the reciprocal of C1. Uh, but it is possible that one of those scalars could actually be zero. Uh, and we just have one of the two equations. Um, because you could include the, u the zero vector in this definition. It does lead to sort of a weird thing. Um, with this definition of parallel, the, the zero vector is parallel to everything. Kind of strange, but it fits the direction, or it fits the definition, rather. Um, I mean, the zero vector has no direction, or maybe it has every direction. Uh, depending on which way you want to think about it, right? Um, and so typically, if you're talking about vectors being parallel, you're talking about non-zero vectors um, because then they have a direction that you can make sense of. But you can even include the zero vector in this definition. Um, so either, either definition works. Um, you may be in a course that insists on using one over the other. Um, but if not, um, feel free to use whichever one makes more sense to you.